Uh, I'm Narendran, and I currently work as a software consultant uh, in a startup in India. Mm -hmm. And I consult for Bay Area based uh, startups. And um, so mostly I'm into uh, Python, Go language, yeah. uh, cloud architecting with AWS and Azure Cloud. Cool. Yeah. So you mostly use Python and Go. Yes, I mostly use Python. Python is my go-to language and yeah. I picked up Go like a few years back. Cool. So what kind of integration do you use Python for? Okay. What kind of thing do you use, use Python for? Uh, mostly for uh, web development uh -huh. and uh, sometimes uh, automating deployments. Okay. That's what I use. So, what kind, do you use any framework for this? Uh, yeah, I use uh, Django. Okay. Uh, I, I've been using Django for like uh, two years. Then uh, recently I started using Flask. Cool. So, how about Go? What do you, what library do you use? For Go. Uh, Go mostly uh, I use it for uh, uh, you know fast APIs, so I stick with just the standard library, net HTTP library. Okay, nice. So how long have you been using Python for? Python uh, been using it for like five years. Cool. So that's this pre three point. Uh, uh, no, like actually uh, when I got started, uh, I was into totally 2.7. Ah, okay. Then, uh, then recently I switched to uh, 3.x. So it's because uh, uh, I was closely working with uh, some uh, data scientists and uh, most of, uh, back, uh, in, back in those days, uh, the NumPy and other libraries were supported only in 2.x. Ah, yes. So I had to work with 2.x for a long time. I, I remember that time. Yeah. I actually remember that time. Interesting time. So, uh, how do you find the transition from two to three? It's nothing much, at least uh, in, as a backend engineer, I don't uh, find it except the, uh, the braces, binary braces in print statement. Okay. Also, uh, recently I've started doing uh, concurrence. Uh, concurrency in Python 3. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that needs some learning curve. You need to uh, think how to design your code ka using uh, async IO. Okay. So have you. Okay. How many things have you built on top of async IO? Sorry? How, how many things have you built on top of async IO? Or you just experiment for now? Uh, I just. Uh, Actually, I wrote uh, some uh, microservice which will be uh, pulling messages from AWS queue okay. and using multi threading. And I rewrote, uh, rewritten that in uh, async IO. It's pretty lightweight. Okay. Uh, that's why I used it. Cool. That's very interesting. So, here's the interesting one. So, what brings you here to PyCon? I know you're speak, but is there other reason you're here? It's, it's for the love of the community. Mm, and okay. The diverse community, right? So I've uh, been uh, running PyCon India for a very long time. Ah. And, uh, I wanted to see how the community is outside India. Cool. So, how's PyCon is in India look like? Py PyCon India, it's it's huge actually. Okay. Since India is so diverse, and there is only one PyCon India, but uh, uh, many of them will have a misunderstanding that there are many PyCon Indias, but actually. People start their own uh, uh, by conference, like mini conferences, uh, mm -hmm. since uh, traveling to uh, other parts of India is same as traveling to other countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So, so have you met any friend down here? Yes. In my, in my Indian yeah. friends? No, no, no. I mean, in this community. Okay. So, what do you, uh, so, what do you think? Yeah, uh, social communities are like, they're uh, awesome. Okay. And I have like uh, many friends here. I met them in uh, PyCon way back, ah, two okay. months back. Okay. Cool. So, anything else you miss before I end this interview? Anything else you want to say? Uh, I just, um, especially since we are in uh, Py, uh, PyCon, yeah. uh, there's something about uh, Python. So, how. So it's because of Python I got started uh, with uh, software. So before that I was into electronics and embedded engineering. Uh -huh. And uh, I learned other languages too, like Java and uh, C++. But uh, I've been doing it for like more than a few months. I was on and off uh, whether to switch jobs because uh, Java was, it wasn't welcoming. So then I started learning Python. Uh -huh. 
and then I got pulled into a sort of accents. Then, uh, so it's like Python became my go-to language. Cool. And even the community. So whatever, it's different. It's, it's totally good. Yeah. Cool. So thanks for the interview. Thank you. So this is swimming from Dev Kami signing off again for PyCon Malaysia 2018.